friends welcome back i'm agam and you're on my channel agam tech tricks today i'll show how to integrate magisk root and google apps into wsa now what is wsa wsa is this windows system subsystem for android like it basically with this you can uh, run any android app on your windows pc or laptop like we normally do it on our android phones and today i'll show you like uh, because microsoft has partnered with amazon uh, so we can only install apps from amazon app store if we officially download it from the microsoft store etc and today i'll show you how to install wsa but with google apps so basically you can get all the apps from the play store and it's optional like if you want or not we can even integrate magisk with it inject basically so like uh, there's a root solution called magisk i'll show you basically this so uh, this is a uh, this just roots our android phone and we can like add uh, modules etc basically this is a root solution and uh, thanks to the ls post developers they only made this repository like and also they provide automation for m6 bundle creating the package for the wsa so we don't have to do many things so like this we can integrate magisk and google apps both with wsa now it's your wish if you don't want google apps but magisk only or if you don't want magisk and just want with google apps it's everything your wish and you don't even need to like uh, install like wsl etc and go to the ubuntu and etc etc so let's start first of all uh, make sure you have these two uh, features enabled like first of all go to turn windows features on or off like it is optional but basically recommended virtual machine platform and windows hypervisor platform just enable these both and then okay and reboot if you don't have them enabled after that uh, to basically like uh, build those package and start the main process they even have a video guide or a text guide here i'll uh, tell you everything what you have to do like uh, better just start the repo it's again your wish i'll do it okay and then fork it so uh, it will be your repo and then you can create with github actions etc create the package installer for wsa takes a little time here now uh, this is fork from the ls post uh, like repository but it is now basically in my account so now uh, to build the package we have to go to actions and here workflows aren't been run because this is used using github actions so uh, of course it's workflows only now click i understand my workflows go ahead and enable them after that we have this build wsa so this is for like building and here uh, because we have not run anything yet it's uh, like fresh repo fresh fork and now uh, to build everything just click run workflow now this download link to magisk apk this will be by default the canary magisk canary version of magisk so let it keep default this is the variants of gaps so basically like none super stock etc it's just filled with those extra apps like whatever you need i'll go with pico or uh, here it uses open gaps for everything and arm 64 and we have android 11 so basically pico is bare minimum uh, to get the normal play store facility here only gives this and there are many like super all the google apps and then stock and like just they have mentioned here you can go to this website and check yourself like click this arrow button and check micro has these ones it all depends on you whatever apps you want like pre installed uh, cause uh, i am just i just want the normal play store functionality so i'll go with pico again it's your wish and if you don't want magisk uh, you can just click type none here otherwise go with magisk or if you don't want gaps just none here otherwise i'll go with pico cause uh, because i don't want both gaps and magisk so just uh, fill in everything this will be by default no need to change uh, unless you are until you want some stable or not well i'll go with canary only so here with pico and magisk again it's your wish whatever you want and then run workflow now this will start a uh, building the wsa package for uh, both what we say 
for both the architectures x64 and arm 64 like it depends on your pc if you have an arm 64 pc then you can use the arm 64 build or if you have a x64 pc like i have so you can use the x64 build here it's using so i'll just open the logs of x64 now it sets up uh, dependencies etc and then download etc etc it will do many things and uh, usually will take a uh, time like 5 to 10 minutes So here the x64 build has been like built it it's like built now and it is also uploaded in the github actions uh, but uh, the arm 64 one is still building okay it's uploading it's also just going to be uploaded here the both are done so now how to download the file just go to this summary and then go down now here these two uh, packages are built and uploaded here so like uh, if you have the uh, arm 64 laptop then go with the arm 64 and if you have x64 go with the x64 now i have the x64 one just uh, click this and this will start downloading the uh, zip file here in the file manager it's downloading depends on your network speed uh, speed how fast it downloads Okay, so it's now downloaded and what you have to do is uh, just go to your downloads folder basically in file manager. Oops. Yes, here. Go to your downloads folder and you have to just extract it. Or like basically I would recommend it to keep it in the C drive here and create a folder called WSA because like basically it has all the data with it. So I would recommend it's all your wish. I'll create a WSA folder here and then extract your download like uh, again you can keep in the documents and i just extract it in c drive extract now extract files like i have nana zip so you can just uh whatever you want seven zip seven zip etc whatever unzipping program you have here wsa and click ok here we have this zip file we have selected and then click ok so it will start extracting whatever we have so here it's extracted and now what we have to do is just go to your like extracted folder like i have extracted it in wsas and here okay it created a subfolder too like no worries and then you have to run this uh, they have given a file to automatically just install all the packages etc like no need to install apex manifest etc like um, manually uh, this have this script and uh, also if uh, you run this script like what you have to do is right click and run with powershell and if it doesn't run like it shows that uh, uh, script running is disabled in your system or something so i have solution for that too right click here and windows terminal as admin and then click yes to the user account control and then you have to type this and then you have to type this command i'll uh, give you in the description also uh, uh scope a uh, current user like this agam7 scope and then bypass set execution policy bypass like it will enable running of scripts just click enter and yes it's now done so like i already had it enabled i'll just showed you now what to do right click and then run with powershell and it will automatically install all the wsa packages required just click yes a uh, user account control when the user account control pops up 
इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली डू एवरीथिंग हेयर नाउ अगेन इट्स ओपन अ विंडो शेयर माई डायग्नोस्टिक डेटा लाइक दैट्स द नाउ बेसिकली इट हैज इंस्टॉल्ड डब्ल्यू एस ए नाउ इट्स इट हैज ऑटोमेटिकली ओपन ऑल्सो सो आई एल जस्ट क्लिक क्लोज एंड कंटिन्यू एंड अगेन क्लोज एंड कंटिन्यू बिकॉज इट ओपन बोथ मेजिस कैन प्ले स्टोर विंडोज इट्स स्टार्टिंग सो बेसिकली एवरीथिंग हैज बीन इंस्टॉल्ड यू कैन जस्ट क्लोज दिस so successfully now windows subsystem for android has been installed with play store and magic now uh, let it boot first and then i'll show you everything cause it's first time start so it takes some time like when you will uh, open this also so here you can see windows subsystem for android like a normally app and also uh, this is not just in the us like uh, currently if you install from the microsoft store it is available in the us only uh, but through this method you can use it in any country and without any restrictions so here preparing for setup via windows subsystem for android it means like okay here so we have the play store now and then you can just sign in etc to install any apps or games etc Mm, well, it didn't open magic here. It also has magic now. We can just click it to open. It will take some time. And tada! We have magic installed, the Canary version, like the latest one. And now we can like basically we have a rooted WSA, and no module installed, and then all depends on you. you can go to settings and install magic it's a magic preferences it's all depend on you and here the play store thing like you can sign in to like install or your app and sign in etc i won't sign in i so okay and here we have installed windows subsystem for android with everything like magic and google apps both and also i'll give you just one more tip like if we want to side load any apk like for example we have play store but there is an apk that's not in just play store but we want to side load it like in our normal android phones we double click the apk file and then install it uh via the pop up like install from unknown sources so like that uh, we can do that in wsa2 there is a tool called wsa packman basically wsa package manager and what this does it can register your apk file uh, double click thing so like whenever you will open the apk file in windows it will install it in wsa for that what you have to do is just go to the releases i link you this in the description and download this installer file so basically with this way we can uh, just side load any apks we have so to try with any apk mm, here we have this empty manager so just save file as and then i'll download it here we have this and wsa pacman is still installing here so we have this installer now wsa pacman and what we have to do is just double click this and it will start uh, this app installer basically and just click yes on the user account control and then go to next and if it will show because i had this file already just click yes like basically if you are installing first time here associate wsa Uh, package manager with the apk file extension so like if we double click it will automatically show the pop up to install in wsa click next and install here we have it installed now you can open it from this your start menu and here it will show connecting waiting for a uh, like basically it will error the first time because we haven't enabled any developer settings in the windows subsystem for android so what you have to do 
just here go to here open this settings and enable this developer mode so it can connect and then allow access and now wsa pacman is connected and we can just manage all our applications whatever apps we have installed and then manage the settings of android we have these settings basically where's the window yes uh, it's a pixel 5 yes and here we have now to install the apk any side load apk uh, what we have to do is just click this empty to 10.1 uh, beta apk whatever whatever apk you have not just necessary i'm just showing you this as sample double click it and then it will show the app names and permission it needs etc and just install like with root when you want ls post app etc many things can be done with root here so uh, basically this has side loaded now and also also one more thing no need to root like no there's no need to root in it and you can also uh, do the same thing with the normal wsa without any play store without any images so here it's done and i'll just dismiss it here we have this empty manager uh, this shows we can use any android app on a windows pc so like this here with this also and one more thing like if we want to transfer any file to our uh, basically this uh, our uh, wsa like because if we will go to our files in wsa uh, and we can't even drag and drop because uh, windows uh, microsoft hasn't added anything yet for example i'll try with this we can't just copy paste anything and uh, basically uh, because wsa is different and uh, windows subsystem is different so i'll now i'll also show you this and just what you have to do is open is this folder in windows terminal and then uh, make sure you have adb installed and in path uh, because it's needed so basically adb devices we have this attached what you have to do adb push whatever the file is for example this wsa pacman and then slash sd card slash download because that's the only folder we have like not the only one but uh, basically i'll transfer in this yeah it takes time and one file post so again we can go to our empty manager either like this is basically file manager only or we can just go to windows subsystem for android and then open files and here we have this file which we just transferred so with this way basically you can just uh, transfer any file to your wsa system or we can even transfer a folder with it like we selected a file here there we can select a folder so like this now we have wsa we can uh, with magisk and gaps both i'll again show you and or uh, any google apps can run with it but basically it's magisk like so the cts cannot be passed because it's again just an emulator but a bit integrated like with windows so like this you can't just pass uh, cts so like if you want to pass cts and like hide magic so better not just uh, install magisk then just use the google apps package and like this we can get google apps magisk can even sideload or push files to adp so thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel thank you